I grew up right along the edge of Saxon Woods, and um, I just had an affinity for hanging outside and playing imaginary games with the environment around me. I was fishing or I was turning over rocks. I mean, I would never go outside and just look at a rock. I'd flip it over and see, see what was going on underneath it. Or I'd, you know, be looking for butterflies or, you know, playing with twigs. With art, you have to have a question first in order to experiment. You can develop more um, facility with whatever medium you're working with if you're an experimenter. In an active environment where your light is changing and the wind is around you and you've got uh, fragrances and you've got movement of, of branches and leaves, maybe animals in your presence and everything, your attention is really focused on where you are. And you're constantly uh, able to notice small, minute changes around you and that's something that you can take to your art. I go out in the environment and I'm looking at what I have that I can simplify so that I can keep people focused and looking in a certain way at my painting. You can have a simple straight line or you can have a line that has symmetrical movement in it which is kind of quiet or you can have a line that you know has uh, has this little whip-like motion to it that that is far more exciting and then I look at the balance of lights and darks and color and how I can sort of juice everything up and, and, and make it really enticing. I'm always trying to interest people to e express themselves in, in this way and so if somebody sees this and they think, hey, you know, I've really always wanted to paint, maybe, maybe I should do that. I think that that would, that would be great because if you don't have that well of visual information available, you're kind of stuck. I mean, this is like breathing room for your brain to be out in this world. And if you don't have an appreciation for this, how can you, how can you understand how important it is to not pollute or to recycle or to protect a certain wildlife species that's habitat is being eliminated? I think that the wild and scenic is um, exciting and shareable because there's always the element of surprise that's going to appear or feel or resonate differently with you. That, that unexpected energy that you draw from being in, in a wild and beautiful environment, it, it can't be matched. <laughs>